Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to cover more updates regarding the Model Y performance in white in Germany. And we will look into the updates regarding the Shanghai factory, which is looking pretty good. So we have really great updates from there and we will start right away now here with the Model Y performance in white. As I mentioned before, the production for the white variant should start very soon. I think it's currently already happening. And this is the steps that are happening in Germany compared to Austin, which we will look into later on. Um, that Tesla has started with the black variant and now the white variant is coming as well. And then the Model Y long range will soon come as well with the black and white. And then afterwards they will move forward to all the other colors like blue, red and gray. Um, these are the colors coming afterwards. Um, so this is looking pretty good. And it is very important that the Giga Berlin factory is ramping up very quickly here um, to maybe compensate with Austin together in Q2, um, the cars that were not sold out of China. It's not going to be possible to do that in totally, so cover all what has been lost in Shanghai, but at least a bit. And this is um, a very good um, indication um, when Tesla is continuing to ramp the production here that maybe the dip in um, sales might not be as big as expected from Wall Street. And looking into Reuters and a few other information givers here, um, we can see that Tesla is going to resume the production in Shanghai um, on the April 18th. And that is very good news, guys. That is actually on Monday. So Eastern Monday, um, it's supposed to start again. But very important to understand here, production start doesn't mean that Tesla is going to um, be able to produce the same rate as they have done before the lockdown. But we will look into that in a moment because Grace from Tesla um, was also debunking um, the rumor that Tesla is actually not opening before the 15th of May. So that is supposed to be fake news. Um, it is wrong. Um, it is uh, clear that Tesla has the possibility to start right now on Monday. And if the Chinese government or Shanghai government is not deciding anything else, Tesla will be able to start with one shift and then they will slowly start ramping up again. So and that is something that we have to understand right now. Tesla is going to ramp up again, um, but they're not going to be able to um, get to the same level as they have been um, before the lockdown right away. It will take like two, three weeks um, of ramping up the production, getting all the people back to work. And so Tesla will be able to do that hopefully very quickly. And then they will be also able to send boats with Model 3 um, to Europe. Why do I say Model 3 and not Model Y? Because I still believe that based on the situation right now and the time frame until a car will come here, which will be maybe by end of May, as you can see currently, we don't have any ships on it on the way. Um, until end of May, I, th I find it realistic to see the first ships arriving from China. And this could mean that the Model Y long range until then might be already produced in Grünheide. So they will shift everything towards um, Europe and will take only shipments from Grünheide for the Model Y long range towards customers in Europe. And they're not going to deliver them from Shanghai anymore. Right now would be the moment to do that shift towards production in Europe. It would make a lot of sense um, as it would match the delivery times closely um, if you would uh, receive it from Shanghai. Um, again, the quality from Shanghai is very good. So that's not the case why they should shift. Um, but as Australia is also receiving Model Ys very soon, I do think it is already time to do that change. For the Model 3 orders, it's um, finally some good news as we have been um, with a lot of bad news in the past weeks, especially due to the lockdown. And then the limitation of Model 3s being on the market, pretty much nothing being on the market. Now it's a time that people can um, yeah, be happy to hear that the Model 3 in all variants is going to come soon um, to Europe again. And I'm very happy about that as I'm waiting for my own Model 3 in white. Um, and then we're going to look into the numbers. And that's what I mentioned before from Troy Tass-like. Um, it's very important to understand 
the impact from Shanghai in the second quarter will be big. It will be a dip um, that we haven't seen before. But again, on the other side, we do have Giga Berlin and we do have Texas. But the big question is, what impact can Texas have? I mean, you see second quarter, we see here 5,100 cars. Is that what Tesla is all able to do? Or will it be more? Um, and that is the question. We have no idea um, how many 4680 cells Tesla can actually produce in Austin and how many they can deliver now with the cars being produced. That is the big question. And some people were even saying maybe those standard variants don't even have the 4680 variant. Um, it is very confusing the communication that we see here out of Austin, to be honest with you. And it was clear, very clear in Grünheide, which car, which battery pack, people did all these kind of reviews. And you still, even days, days after the event in Austin, you don't see any pictures, no reviews, nothing online. And that is a bit confusing because the question is why no one is sharing its great experience in a video on YouTube as everyone likes to do so. It's not the case. In Germany, we had all the videos, everyone showing what's inside, what battery pack, what's going on, what's the charging curve. We all know that, um, but it's not the 4680 cells, and maybe that is the reason why it's so, um, yeah, so secretly here. Then we have all the cars out there. Um, interestingly, um, compared to Germany, we still already see here red colors, white colors, um, then the white, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So we have all those kind of colors, um, but we see the cars standing outside. And the question is, well, you cannot buy and order a Model Y standard range, to be honest, right now on the website. So when is that going to happen? When is Tesla going to make it possible to order this variant that we talked about? Because they're producing those cars already and maybe they're going to do some um, storage, um, maybe have already some cars produced on reserve and then they're going to open the order page. That is kind of the question here that we need to ask ourselves. Again, guys, I'm very happy that the situation in Shanghai seems to be solved now. If Tesla can start on Monday, that is very great news here um, for Tesla and of course the entire um, production goals that Tesla has. Um, for the Twitter thing from Elon Musk, I like to concentrate on the car business and energy business. I'm not going to go into all the details regarding the Twitter um, acquisition from Tesla CEO Elon Musk. I'm not, that's not so much my business in case you're wondering why I do ignore this topic. So thank you very much. Take care.